What can I get for you today, sir? My man back, look, dude right there, you like Samuel L. Jackson off Unbreakable. Fa you delivering a real blessing here, Lincoln. Thank you. Bitch, you look like, call now for your free read and get the hell on. How you doing, sir? Hey, he's back. Okay, I like the way the story's going. So my shit just gonna crash though in the middle of the walkthrough. What's going on, people? Welcome back. Yes, 2K sent me an early copy of Mafia 3. Big shout out to 2K for that. We doing stuff, and it's all because of y'all that they actually contacted me because y'all watched my shit. So you know the rules. Hands and feet inside the ride at all times. You're gonna put your favorite part as a timestamp in the comments section. I got basically an hour of Mafia 3 for y'all before midnight today. So Let's hop into this shit. Mafia 3, let's go. Lincoln's mother abandoned him in 1947, a couple of years after he was born. His mother, I heard she was Dominican. I always figured his father was white, maybe even not Italian. Not that it mattered. Back then, if you look black, you black. Same as today, I suppose. He stayed at the orphanage until 1958. Well, when did you meet Lincoln Click? 1966. I was running black ops out of Laos on behalf of the CIA. He was loaned out to me via joint CIA DOD task force. He's a quiet boy. Good boy. Two Purple Hearts, a Bronze Star, and the Distinguished Service Cross. He served his country with honor and distinction. After the city closed the orphanage, he fell in with Sammy Robinson. Sammy ran the black mob over in Delray Hollow. I can't say I approve, but often colored boys didn't have a lot of options back then. Boys like Lincoln, the ones who been abandoned. They're always looking for a home. Always looking for a place to belong. I think he thought he'd find it in the army. Thing is, once that's lost, you can never get it back again. When he returned from the war, Lincoln ended back up over at Sammy's. Now Sammy owed the Italian mob a whole lot of money. And he needed Lincoln's help. It's a damn shame what happened. It breaks my heart. Still say this is the craziest goddamn thing I ever heard. Using real money to rob the feds. Well, hell, man, not like this is our cash. This all came from Skeletta. Besides, peanuts compared to what we're gonna haul out of there. Is everything we need to burn? Yeah, that's it. I grabbed the keys to the truck, then we can get the fuck out of here. Boy, Laker Clay swollen shit, look at it. Look at the gains, though, bruh. Boy, he big as hell. Pick up the keys. I got the keys, keys. Yo, and that dude at the beginning that was talking looked like goddamn <laughs> Morgan Freeman, bro. You you gonna, you're not gonna tell me that wasn't him. him like this. Oh, he came shit. through with the truck just like we asked. He agrees his partner to make well, it. Well, blow your your damn head off. Why well, take the chance? I wonder if you get a trophy for shooting this dude in the head. Maybe I shoot him in his feet. Okay, that didn't do anything. All right, let's go on about our. Take it easy heading to town. We don't need the cops crawling up our asses. Ah, oh, that poor fuck back there. He ain't got no idea what he's in for. What was his cut? Five percent? They're about, but not like he'll be able to spend it. The feds will be watching his every move for the rest of his life. Probably be better we just whacked him. 
Well, if I learned anything in Nam, always a good idea to dangle someone out there. Use them to get everybody's attention, and you just slip away. So answer me this. What's the craziest thing you saw over there? You don't want to know. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, Georgie Marcano pays taxes. Damn right I do. That's how they got Al Capone, and I ain't going to prison for no fucking tax bill. Huh? So come on, you gonna answer the question or what? We, uh... We on the coast of Quang Nai. Evacuating the civvies for Charlie overran everything. Anyway, we getting him onto a medical ship, and this woman walks up. She got a baby in one hand, and the leash to a pig in the other. She starts up the ramp, and the MP stops her and tells her, you can only bring one thing on board. So she tosses the baby into the water. MP goes ape, tells someone dive in after the kid, starts screaming at the woman, wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. You know what she says to him? She says, I can always have another baby. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, man, you asked. <laughs> yeah, but I thought you were going to tell me a story about some goop getting his dick blown off or something. I mean, God damn. It's not a fault, but not like you think. The conditions over there, man. Jesus Christ. One day you're raising cattle, tending your rice. Next day everything bombed flat. You put people up against the wall, they will do anything to survive. That better have been one delicious fucking pig. Back it up to the loading dock. Some of these fellas might get a little uh, rough with the language and... Well, it ain't like I've never been called nigger before. I know, but I'm just saying, if I go along with it, ain't nothing personal. What? The only thing I care about is getting our hands on that money. Nah, he, he gonna try to pull it out. I might, I might go along with what they saying in there. Don't take it personal. It sound like you just wait for opportunity to say something you ain't got no business, bro. Make our move. All right. Okay. Enter the Federal Reserve. What is that? I think the entrance is here. So. Ah, here we go. I'm gonna try to play for at least an hour. Put your IDs up the glass. We're part of the Boeing crew. What the fuck's this shit heel doing here? Affirmative action. You know how it is. Old country is spinning around a goddamn toilet. You can follow me. As for you, go on and grab those bags off the truck. You'll be carrying them to the burning room. How much y'all bring in? $238,546. Small bills, mostly. I'll let Miss Gale call up your office when we're done. She'll confirm the delivery. Appreciate it. All right, now we got to follow the guard. So I can't, they got a, a problem with me coming in here. I can't even bring money to burn. Total disrespect. To that scatter gun. You packing anything? Still in training. Good. One less goddamn thing for me to worry about. You can pick it up on the way out. Okay. Fine rooms down in the cellar. This way. I ain't seen y'all around these parts before. Y'all's over in Georgia for a while. He just got out the service. Yeah. My cousin's been trying to get on here for over a year now. Was in the Navy for two tours, got medals falling out of his ass. Government tells him thanks, but no thanks. That's a crock of shit if I ever heard one. Sad day when a God-fearing white man can't get a job, but ain't your nigga who staggers in his hide on the spot. What? Oh, man. I hope we I hope we can bust him right in the face for that. I hope we doing this for a reason. If I get opportunity, I'ma knock him upside his goddamn head. Any old nigga get a job. What? These bastards better not be playing with each other back there. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! Christ, look at that. Didn't How know you doing? That much. How you doing, my black brother? You you the first black brother I ran into during the walkthrough, man. You need to, uh, you could come on home and get this ball head, yo. Your shit is fucked up, bro. You got the horseshoe. God damn. Yeah, we are. You did you see that shit? 
All this is gone, bruh. It's missing. Oh, Lord. Okay. A little bit slow pace to start, but that's how these games start off, bro. We're only about 10 minutes in or so. Would you all like an hour-long video? If I can make an hour-long video for episode one, I'm going to make an hour-long video. I got the game early anyway. Shout out to 2K once again. So maybe we should take full advantage of this. Since I'm going out of town, I'm going to need to record about eight episodes for y'all so I have some videos when I'm not here. Bigger. It gets the job done. Only time there's a problem is when the flu clogs up. Fuck. That's some heat right there. We used to use coal for it, but a year or so back we switched over to oil. Maintains a more consistent flame. Yeah, some guy come around the house trying to switch me old. Bang! What was you saying earlier, though? We need to move. Danny and Ellis should be coming up anytime. Look at it. Look at it. Uh, give me a second. Uh, you mean to tell me they was just down here burning all this money over here at the Federal Reserve? I figured we was going to do something. Guys. Keep your ass down. You don't want them getting a drop on us. I know what the fuck I'm doing. Watch me work, though, bro. Watch, watch, watch me do me. You know that house we've been renting now? Called over there last night. Told them I wanted to see mm. to be out in two weeks. And the man, his name's uh, John, starts laying into me. Saying the lease gives them the right to a third. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Can we go can we go back to the checkpoint? Man, that was bullshit. Hey yo, don't 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 even don't don't even judge me though. Don't even judge me right there. I pushed the wrong button. I pushed the wrong button, he swung his fist. What? It happens! I mean y'all yeah. Gimme give me a break though. You know that house we've been renting now? I called over there last night. I wanted to say All right, bang. I told them they needed to be out in two weeks. And the man, his name's uh John, starts laying into me, saying the lease gives them the right to a 30-day notice. That's how he's supposed to find a new place in two weeks. So I tell him none of that's my goddamn problem. It's my property, and I'll do with it what I please. And if it brings up that fucking lease again, I'll use it to wipe my ass and make him eat it. Not What was you saying though? Choke him out. Ah, uh, he he went out like that. I want this. I want oh, this gun. Get this bolt open. Well, can we get the gun first? Oh yeah. Oh, Birdman hand wrap. This is legit. I'll be damned. All right, go for it, Godzilla. Holy fucking shit. It's beautiful. All right, I'm gonna take care of this room. You see what you can get from outside. <laughs> Once these boys punch you with that drill, we're gonna start throwing this down. the fucking alarm? Shit, I didn't notice this cage was on a different system. All right, we're gonna hold off the guards until Danny's done drilling. Hey, you gonna pull this off. Finally, our first gun battle. I'm ready. So. Okay, hold LB. Quick swap. Tap LB. Are we ready? Yo, I got that. Yo! Hold on, I gotta get my aim right though. Did you see that shit? Oh yeah, these, these guns got recoil on this game. I like it. Want some more? Taking his ass. Come on. I'm trying to go for headshots. He's down. Shot that brother in his head, though. All right. Got one guy on the left. Damn, I'm out of ammo here. I need more. 
Reload. I'm playing on hard, by the way, so. I'm liable to die a little bit more than usual. Oh, that's kind of garbage. I can't do. Oh, he got a big ass shotgun in his hand. You see him? Oh my god! <laughs> Yo! Oh my goodness! That bitch had a big ass shotgun. All right, I need this. How you doing today, sir? Man, shoot! God damn! All right. Yo, I, it, look. Oh, let me, let me, let me rock though. I'm still trying to get the, the controls down. God damn, we shall kick the hornet's nest this time. Only way we walk out of here is if we get the weapons stored in that armory. Bust the door open. I'll watch our asses. <sighs> My old man gonna shit a brick when he hears about this. Fuck! Fuck! Come on, open! Pry open the army gate. Armory gate. Give me that damn thing. Lock pulling. Expose the lock. Move the mouse until the cursor is in the green zone. Then press X. We got it. Let's go. Oh, I got the big ass gun. This is the, this is the gun T.I. had. The, the, he got the 100 round drum. The big ass 100 round drum joint. All right, let's regroup. I'm ready. We got a better gun now. Shit, man. These guys ain't fucking around. Face way worse than this over in Nam. Little smoke we shit. Stay close to the vault. Watch for the drill. I'll deal with these assholes. All right, where they at? Looks like they'll be coming through the same place. Well, Sammy had men all over the place. Now, one of them worked at a cleaner's and stole the uniforms Georgie Marcano and Lincoln Clay wore on the day of the robbery. Another one was a janitor at the Federal Reserve, and he provided a rough layout. The robbery of the Federal Reserve was timed perfectly, and none of it would have been possible without the involvement of Sammy Robinson, Lincoln Clay, and the rest of the black mob. You just come from Vietnam? That's right. I was a Marine in the Pacific. You take it from me. Just because you're home doesn't mean you're back. You understand? <laughs> People around here, they don't, they don't get it. <sighs> Never will. <laughs> Keep your ass out of the trouble. caught up crossing the bridge. Don't worry about it. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for my stepbrother, Lincoln Clay. You seen him? He used to get ticked off if you were even a minute late. Kiss my ass. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> <laughs> How was the trip? Me as how this is the first time in four years and somebody telling me where to go, what to do, or how to do it, it was fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> What's new with the old man? Man, don't even get me started on Pops. He used to pull his head out of his ass. Same as ever then. Brother, you have no fucking idea. Damn, Ellis. She's looking good. <laughs> Just like I left her. Man, even I know not to fuck around with your cop. Mm. All right, come on. I'm ready to go home. Mm. Telegram about coming home. He's been climbing the walls. What if the plane crashes? What if the train's delayed? What if they call him back? 
Then he go stand in front of the kitchen window and sip his whiskey like he was expecting you to come strolling up the sidewalk. Don't say nothing about me telling you that. I won't. He'll be fine once he sees you. Ever since Mama Hell, you know how he gets. Remember Marty and Ron Langford? Sure. They moved up to Empire Bay a year or so after you shipped out. Started selling weed. They call and ask me if I want some. I say, sure. It's free money as far as I'm concerned. Anyhow, a month back, Marty drops me a line and says they're moving into hell and that they're looking for a partner down around these parts. Can't imagine Sammy was too keen on that. I never told him about the weed. That ain't nothing to nobody. But this, I gotta talk to him about. I ain't said more than three words and he's yelling about the feds. How we don't need J. Edgar up our asses and what the fuck am I thinking? Selling dope with kids running around the neighborhood. We ain't selling no dope to no children. <laughs> like they got any money to begin with. <laughs> Fucking around aside, that was pretty serious shit. Knew a couple guys over in Nam who were running it. Wound up pissing off the wrong person. Got their throats cut. Shit, man, I know what's what. That's why I'm talking to Georgie about it. There's no way Sal's gonna go along with that. Georgie says he can keep his old man from fighting out. We'll still clear the high low of Frisco, just selling the French wall. Georgie's Uncle Lou won't say shit as long as we give him a taste of the action. I don't know, man. Georgie's a cool cat and all, but heroin ain't the kiddie pool. Come in on it with us. I bet he'd agree to a three-way split. <sighs> I don't know. I kind of need to lay low a bit, figure some things out. Yeah, all right. Once you get settled in, I was thinking we could go to this new club in the French Ward. Maybe double dated. Well, who the hell am I gonna go with? Your great Aunt Beatrice? Oh, God. <laughs> I ever tell you I accidentally saw her without a shirt once? Oof. That woman has the droopiest, nastiest tits I've ever seen. <laughs> they were like two sacks of potatoes with nothing in them. Yeah, like that was a fucking accident. Hey, man, fuck you. I was damn lucky to walk away from that one. Anyway, you'll go with Regine. Regine? Believe me, once you see her, you're gonna want to dig right in. Ha, <laughs> matter of fact. She got half the guys in the hollow sniffing around asking her out. Turns them all down. She's only got eyes for you, Lincoln Clay. <laughs> fuck you. Wait and see, man. One look and your peck is gonna pop right out. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we're going through the front. I ain't having your wall here or I ask you to back though. Look who I found panhandling out in front of the train station. Pleasure, man. Welcome back, baby. Boy, I send you to bring Link on Claire home. Not the big nigga who ate him. Well, shit, old man. I finally went somewhere they knew how to cook. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome home, son. How are you? I'll be better once I get some of that shine in me. I always <laughs> did love corn whiskey. I would like to make a toast. My father used to say that the real worth of a man came from the mark he left on the world. When Lincoln first told me he was joining the military, I was against it. Too dangerous, I say. Let those people fight their own war, I say. But then I realize Lincoln needed to go out and make his mark. And that's precisely what he did. I'm so, so proud of you. Paul Lincoln, bienvenue à la maison. Paul Lincoln, bienvenue à la maison. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Damn, she ugly as hell. Oh, my bad. Nice seeing you, Lincoln. Oh, I kept you in my prayers. I really appreciate that, Father. 
Now who wants to get shit faced? <laughs> Woo! It's hard to explain what it's like coming home from war. Elation, fear, guilt. Imagine being trapped in a dark room and there's no way out. And every fear, every nightmare you ever had is in that room with you. And there's no escape from any of it. And then one day a door opens and you're free to go. Just like that. The thing is, you made your peace with your terror and your fear of death. And now part of you is afraid to leave it behind. But what choice do you have? Every soldier has to walk through that door, one way or another. Man, that whiskey's gonna hoy in the morning. Hell, man, just sleep it off. The room's the same as you left it. I'm gonna take the basement. <laughs> the basement? Why the fuck you wanna crash down there? I'll see you in the morning. Man, that wall must have really fucked you up. Boy, go home, you drunk as hell. Oh, I need to go down. Well, I turned the music down, but um, the cinematics have their own music that don't really count in the music settings, so. Where's all my Mafia 1 and 2 people at? Who was here with me during Mafia 2, man? I didn't do Mafia 1 on this channel, but I did do Mafia 2 in 2014. Where the OGs at? Shout out to the squad. Alright, is there a is there an actual sprint button? Cause I'm tired of walking everywhere. Let me double check these controls real fast. Um, yeah, if you, I mean, you got to push the left stick, but that don't, I don't think you can do that indoors, at least so far. We barely have two nickels to rub together, and now we're paying for all that food. Jesus Christ. Watch that mouth of yours. We wouldn't be in this mess if you were to listen to me. What mess? It's not something you need to worry about, Lincoln. I got it under control. Under control? God damn it, you need to Boy, I'm not eyes. warning you again. Have it your way, old man. Let him be. He needs to cool off. You mind telling me what's got him so riled up? We've been having uh, problems with the Haitians. But like I say, I got it under control. Well, truck's all loaded up. I figured we got enough out there for... Should I, should I come back? In honor of your returning to us safe and sound, I made a donation to Father James here. Supplied him with food he can hand out to some of our needier family. Well, I was hoping you'd lend me a hand, Lincoln, and give you a chance to see the neighborhood. This thing with the Haitians, how serious is it? Ah, you know Ellis. Someone looks at him the wrong way, he's on them like a wet dog. Like I said, I can now uh, come back. Nonsense. Lincoln needs to get out. Enjoy the day. Besides, be good for the two of you to spend some time together. Mm. Go on. Those people waiting on their food. Oh, I saw Langan a couple times once he was first back. <laughs> he told me he wanted to leave town, head out to California. Now, he had a friend in the service who could get him a job working at the Mare Island shipyard. And the only reason he came back was to tell Sammy and Ellis goodbye. 
But then he found out about the trouble Sammy was having with those Haitians. So he decided to stay in hell. Those Haitians, they are bad news. No talking Lankin out of it. Whatever else he might have become, Lankin was always loyal. So I wonder how far in the future the narrative is from the actual gameplay. Because that guy, uh, we're going to call him Morgan Freeman. He's much older on that than he is on the actual gameplay that we're using. Three-month apprenticeship to start, then the union lets you in. You tell Sammy and Ellis? Not yet. I'm gonna wait a few days. Didn't want to spring it on them since I just got back. Well, they won't like the hair, but they'll come around. You need to do what's best for you. Go ahead and start serving those folks. I'll be back. What can I get for you today, sir? My man back, look, dude right there, you like Samuel L. Jackson off Unbreakable, fam. Look at your haircut. Give Sammy my best, Lincoln. Yes, sir. Go ahead and give us some of my good old gumbo. Samuel L. Jackson from Unbreakable. Warm heart. Faux show. Faux show. Give me some of this good old gumbo. <laughs> I quit. I quit. I quit. I'm, I'm, I'm in a silly mood today, yo. Thanks. Dumbass out of here. Hello. Hello. You delivering a real blessing here, Lincoln. Thank you. Bitch, you look like called now for your free read and get the hell on. How you doing, sir? He's back and they already got you working? Yes. I'm happy to do it. it. Means a hell of a lot to all of us. Yeah. How you doing, Shaka Khan? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Fucking shit show. <laughs> I'll see what I can do about that. Hey there, Lincoln. How are you, Regine? I'm, I'm good. Nice to see you around the holler again. Nice to see those big brown eyes again. Well, they'll be over at my aunt's place with the Whoa. Rest of me. Whoa, who's that? Who's that? Maybe I'll do that. Lincoln, we got trouble. Run, Regine. Oh, crazy oh, nigga shoot on with you, Lincoln. Hey, Regine look a little thick. Oh, we have to. Okay. Go. We have to get out Don't of here. Guns. Don't take a body. Shoot him. Mm, rock. Oh, dad. Damn, rock bottom that bitch. <laughs> All right. Ooh, right. Come on. Mm. Now give me your gun. This is what I'm talking about. Let's go. Francois Papa Doc Duvalier was elected president of Haiti in 1957. By 1959, he had created a secret police called Tonton Makut, and people started to flee. Uh, most of them settled in the southern United States. Now, mixed in with the good, hard-working people were hardened criminals. Uh, they formed the backbone of what became the Haitian gang. Now, Lincoln found out they set up in the swamps and were led by a man named Baca. Uh, you and Father James done already? We got jumped by the Haitians. It's time you level with me. Tell me what's really going on. Yes. I suppose it is. Six, sir. Uh, seven months ago, folks in the hollow started getting robbed. Money, jewelry, things of that nature. Didn't take long for us to figure out it was the Haitians. Then those batas on Velour started going after the lottery. How much money are we talking about? How much? Enough that we're in deep shit with Sal Marcano. Haven't kicked up to him in three months. Jesus Christ. If I deal with them, that gives us time to settle up with Marcano, right? Let me worry about Sal. He and I go way back. With this thing with the Haitians. It's time for it to end. You and Ellis need to handle it. How are we gonna find him? Back in the 20s, 
Fox used to pull salt out of the bayou. They even built themselves a little shanty town. When the depression hit, they abandoned it. That's the only place this could have come from. We're gonna need guns and ammo. Call this number. But do it away from here. No sense tipping anybody off. Or we could sweep the hollow, track down and kill every last one of those cocksuckers, then we wouldn't have to worry about it. The last thing folks in this neighborhood need to see is colored people killing each other. Real shit! Do this quiet. Away from here. Once we eliminate whoever's running the show, the rest of them will go down on their own. Trust me. All right, soldier boy. I'll follow your lead. Be careful, yeah? Those Haitians are a hard people. Do not ever underestimate them. C'est lui qui sait diverses ses suscite hostilité. Yeah! Yeah! What he said, bro. Okay, I like the way the story's going. So my shit just gonna crash though in the middle of the walkthrough. Hold up, bruh. You sure this is how you wanna play this? Last thing they're gonna expect is an attack from the water. You head back round to the row. Stay with the car. I'll meet you over there when this is done. Hope you know what you're doing. Trust me, Ellis. Here in a bit, this will all be behind us. Yeah, my, um, the, the game just turned off like I wasn't doing something. Okay, let's head over to the dock. We got some stealth. I mean, hey, we may very well get into situations where gun, we got to go in guns blazing, bro. It's a mafia game. We, it it got to be like that sometimes. How many men we send it? Two teams. One's going to hit the bar. The other's going to... Okay, stock your enemies, enemies. I know, I know this. Not the pearless. Boss says if we have to burn down half the hollow to get to Sammy, we're doing it. Ain't stopping till that old man is dead. I probably shouldn't be going by. Open the gate for me. At your bun leg bow. He's the one. There you go. Chip, goofy ass on. Okay, can we actually go down here to get there? It looks like we can. Ooh, they got a nice full auto assault rifle for us right here. I don't know if it's actually full auto, but I, I like I like what we have here. All right, I don't wanna have to get my gun out. We wanna try to be as stealthy as we can, but I can't make y'all no guarantees fam, none. Dude right there with the, uh, he got the wife beater on with the Kangol hat. Now, my question is, is he going to come? Uh, he's not coming in here. I see that dude down. They, they, got, they got some guys. Now, I wish you could customize your controls, but I'm not seeing anything that says you can do that. Now, hopefully they got corner takedowns. We about to find out if they got corner takedowns right about now. They do. All right, dude right here. We can go ahead and run up on him. The only reason I'm taking all these people out is because when we escape, I don't know if we're going to have to try to sneak back out of here. It'll be easier to do if ain't nobody left. Hey, this dude, this dude, I kept calling him Brandon Clay and shit. This dude, Brother Clay, his mama called him Clay, I'ma call him Clay. This dude, Clay, is a beast. Okay, are we going that way? Is there another way for us to get over there? Let's see if there's another entrance, perhaps. Yeah, I said perhaps, fam. Nah, that's the only way. Okay. 
I don't know how smart the AI is, so when we get close to them, it's going to put up one of those markers to let us know that they can see us. Should have killed that old man a long time ago. Think the boss was worried that... Oh, yes, they got whistling on here. Sammy would involve Marcano. As they have whistling. That cracker asshole don't give a shit about some worn out nigga. Damn! Money's coming in, Marcano don't care who's handing it to him. Uh-oh. Which one was it? <gasps> there you go. Come on with it. Don't worry about nothing. I got you. Ah! Boy, this is a one-hitter quitter. Okay. It doesn't even... I don't know. We don't know where this Baca person is. So we're just looking for him. There's not a mission marker. It's up to us to find what hut or whatever they're in. So that's what we're going to do. Boy, we beast and we taking these hoes down one at a time. And I see a yellow zone over here. Maybe our objective, the person we're looking for, maybe they're over here. Okay, they are over here. Let's get moving. Let's get it. Damn, they got a whole bunch of people. Ain't no way we can just walk past all those guys. I damn near want to get the gun out and just start shooting folks. But we may not have to. Let me take another look out here to see if there's another route we could take. I don't see anything, but is there a way for us to get up there and walk across that bridge to get back there? Uh, I don't I don't think there is. I think we stuck. This is what the they want us to deal with that group of dudes over there. Yeah, we can't climb. I was thinking we could climb up there and just walk around maybe. Uh, I don't it don't look like that to me. All right, guys, let's 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 get to it. Let's get to it. Or no, no, no. We ain't got to deal with them. There's no way they would make the game and have to have us walk past those people. We're going we gonna, to we gonna try to do a walk around. That's what we're going to do. I'm, I'm normally used to the cover system being B. I'm, I'm telling y'all. Ooh. Kill him. Burr. Yeah, I, I, dude, I, I I got a feeling because I'm playing um, Deus Ex and the, the cover button on there is B. I got it. Yeah, you can't. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Nah. Yeah, there's only two options. And I got a feeling I'm going to mean to push um, A and I'm going to push B on here. Okay. I'm being a stealth a stealth gamer. All right. That's what we going to do. Back turn. He got his back turn. We going. Cuz I can't I can't walk right through the middle like that. There's too many dudes over here. All right. Your man right there is a problem. That that's that's the guy that's gonna mess up our whole operation. Dude right there. All right, let's look at this. Look at this dude. All right, we gonna we gonna wait. I'm kind of cause I can't just walk past dude right there. That we can't even do that. We gonna wait, excuse me. We gonna wait until he walk around, go down to the fire, take dude out, drag him in here, 
and then. Now that's the plan. It's easier said than done out here, bruh. Yeah, because he's just standing there with that big-ass gun right there. I can't do nothing with him. Man, get the hell out of here. How did he see me? Idea if they got the motherfucker. Come on. Good, 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 good. Good. All right, marvelous. All right, we're gonna drop the body right here. Hopefully, that's what I'm talking about, Clay. It's Mama calling Clay. I'm a calling Clay. Is he coming back here? Shit. All right, we got him no problem. That was something light right there. I don't know, man. We ain't gonna be able to walk past these dudes over here. I'm. We gonna have to take them out. We. Ain't, I ain't got no choice, man. We gonna take out the dude on the porch first. Yeah, let's take out your man right here first. Something light right there. Something light. All right, what about your man right here, though? Okay, we got those dudes that was sitting at that entrance. We don't want no parts of them. We're going to have to bust the guns out here in a second. I feel like we ain't got no other choice. Unless this door is open. Is this door open? Nah. Yeah, what we're looking for is right th through this door. Unless there's a way to sneak in this building. I don't think there is. We're gonna have to yeah, hold on. Let me get let me get myself ready. Let me get myself ready, because we about to we about to open up this door. And there yeah. Should have killed me when you had the chance, asshole. That was too well, easy. I kill you. Then I kill that useless old mother. <sighs> he ain't dead. Oh. Fuck you. Who won? Fuck you. You made a big mistake going after the hollow. One more play, easy. Coward. Play dog. The man you're talking about took me in when I had nowhere else to go. You are no better than you. Change. You can't take a shot. You fucking pig! Damn you to her! Take it easy! Take it easy! Take it easy! He kept me in there, locked in there, day and night. Beat me, use me! I kiss you, motherfucker! You and your entire goddamn family! He's dead! He's dead! He can't hurt you anymore. It's over. Over? Over. <laughs> Be 
This is never going to be over. Pajam! Fucking Haitians. <laughs> Make him bleed. Sammy's boy is in there. Kill him. Can we got the back door? This door open? Well, we got Molotov cocktails or something. Let's get ready for combat. They not even coming through the front. Whoa! I wasn't expecting to see that. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's move. So they got a perfect combination of stealth and action so far. I like this. Man, this is like I'm playing with almost no auto aim, so. Ooh, that bitch had a he had a cocktail in his hand. Look at it, look, look at it. He didn't he didn't kill himself. Alright, let's move up. I think it's time to move up now. Where they at? Reloading, cover me! You? Yeah, the, the guns on here got recoil and everything. You gotta watch them. Oh my god! He got a big ass shotgun! Kill him! Oh my goodness, yo. Is that a person back there? Okay, come on. Come on with it. Oh no, 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 no. Fucking empty. Damn it. I think we got him. Alright, where else where else was they? Shit. Damn, they call you out when you out of ammo? Crazy! Come on, I can't even see. There you go. I don't know if it's because I'm playing on hard, but they don't they definitely don't mark the enemies. You gotta watch them. They got cocktails and everything. Running low on ammo here. Fire from the sky! No, not today. Alright. Damn, bro! Burnt to the cribs, God damn. That bitch is gone. How you doing? Nice shooting. Don't think about it. Shoot him. Getting low. We got one. I like these cocktails. They got a nice little radius right here. I need that shotgun. I could definitely use that shotgun you got, buddy. All right. Oh, I'm out, I'm out of Molotov cocktail. That fucking hurt. Switch it up. I heard somebody saying something. No, no, no. Pick up the gun. What is this? Oh, damn. I, I, About fucking time. I tried to kill Ellis back. Hey, come on, Ellis. Wait for me. Come on. Really? Don't let me die like this. Always got to get you out of trouble, don't I? You old? I am. How to go with Baka? Well, we came to an understanding. He stayed dead, not let him. Let's get back to Sammy's. Can't even tell you how happy Pops is gonna be. And this shit with the Haitians has been weighing on him. With them out the way, things will calm down. Go back to the way they should be. Been telling him for months we needed to do something like this, but Pops, he... 
I don't know. Sometimes I think he's lost the taste for this shit. Just because a man don't rush to violence don't mean he lost something. I know, just makes me wonder what happens after, you know? No, I don't know. Explain it to me. Don't matter if it's a bullet or the hand of God. We all go sometime, right? I suppose. But Ellis, we don't need to talk about... I pray that Pops outlives the both of us. But if he doesn't, every motherfucker in the hollow is gonna be looking to us or gunning for us. Just saying we gotta be ready when that day comes. Yeah, well, that's not something we gotta worry about right now. So just cool it with your grand plans, all right? Yeah, all right. The thing Lankin didn't understand, or maybe want to understand, is that for a man like Sammy, there's always gonna be more Haitians. Now, if there wasn't someone going after Sammy, then there was someone else forcing him into a bad situation. It was never going in. That's how Lincoln ended up working for Sal Marcano. You were right about those Haitians being down by that old salt mine. They won't be bothering us again. It was a mistake sending you down there. I should handle my own business. This isn't any different than what I was doing before I left. You probably don't know this. But every night on the TV, right after the news, they show the names of all the boys killed over there in Vietnam. I'd be sitting in the kitchen eating my supper, watching that list scroll by, wondering if today is the day I finally see your name. But you never did. Nothing happened to me. There's only so much luck down the well. Sooner or later, pull up that bucket, there's nothing in it. So, what are we gonna do about Marcano? Pay him his goddamn money one way or the other. Lottery gonna be enough to cover it? The lottery? <laughs> no. But Sal called a bit ago. Wants you to meet him up the country club. Says he's got something in the works. Square things up between us. The only black folk allowed in there are the help. Now, they may not like it, but they're not gonna say no to Sal Marcano. He says you get to come in, you get to come in. Fine. I always did want to see the inside of that place. You need to do whatever Sal asks, yeah? For all our sakes. Yes, sir. Alright, guys, I hope you enjoyed the first hour or so of Mafia 3. Once again, shout out to 2K for sending your boy a code. And they sent it to me a day early. I really appreciate that. So if you made it to the end of the video, you know I do a giveaway every time there's a new game out. So all you got to do is comment below. If you watched the whole hour of Mafia 3, in the comment section, you will put Mafia 3 greatness. So I'm going to holla at y'all in the next episode. I got one more coming for y'all. It's going to be about 20 minutes. Um, playlist gang, what up? Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Also, like the video for an hour of Mafia 3. I'll see y'all in a second. All right, y'all.